following video, I'm going to show you on how do you plot a histogram with a normal distribution curve. Now, start off with you need your data, of course, and your data has to be in ascending order. Now, what you could do next would be select your data because uh, my data is already ascending order. But if your data is not, then I'm going to show you is select your data range, go to data, go to sort, ascending, meaning from the smallest value to the largest value. Okay. So next thing you want to do is uh, to get a normal distribution curve. And uh, in order for you to get normal distribution curve, there's something you need to know. That is, you need a few things like maximum and minimum. But sometimes you can't remember what you do. You record it equals to RM norm for normal distribution. There are few things you need. First is the x. X is the value, which is the value in the cell next to you, next to this uh, uh, cell, B1, B2 cell, which is A1. You need mean, meaning average, standard deviation. Cumulative is something you doesn't need. So all you need uh, to do is uh, have a separate column. Um, maybe find out what's the maximum, what is the minimum. Mean is a minimum here. And then you need a mean for normal, so average, yeah, to, to avoid any confusion. These are the three things that you need. I'll bold it so they can see it better. So first of all, find out what's the maximum and minimum because in normal, oh, in a histogram, you need to know what's the range. So all you need to do is press on equal signs and press on M and X, open bracket. And all you do is I want you to highlight all your data, highlight it, click and drag to the end, press on enter. So the maximum number is 54. So the last one is 54 because it's ascending order, obviously. Minimum is the smallest number up on top here. So but yet, yes, M I N mean minimum, open bracket. Just in case the number is not sort properly, then it helps you to counter check your numbers. Okay? Then for average to average A V E R A G E. I've used it earlier. Average of this number here. Enter. So with this three data, you'll be able. I will be able to plot my normal distribution. Okay. So equals to N O R normal distribution. X is the cell next to this one, which is here, followed by comma, standard deviation. Oh, yes, I haven't got a standard deviation. So, exit, then another column called STDDEV. Okay, I've forgotten about this. Sorry about that. So, equals to STD. Standard deviation, STD, DV means standard deviation, and uh, these are the numbers. So each of the numbers is different by 7.56 in average. So you have standard deviation, then you start your feet to go for normal distribution equals to NOR, MAL, norm, okay, norm distribution x comma mean this is average it's not minimum but mean is actually average now um, because later I'm going to drag this cell now what you can do is uh, you want to make this as a constant so g3 is a constant number to do that you include a percent I mean a dollar sign then uh, you need to use to navigate to here put some comma and then um, standard deviation is also a constant value a percent and then uh, cumulative you don't have so either off or false but if you leave it empty then it should be quite all right what happened 
that may be false. I let me refer to our previous video. Here. No. Okay, okay, let's do it again. What I did right last time is false F A L S E. Normal distribution. This one, comma, mean value is average, comma, standard deviation, comma, F A L S E, supposed to be correct, an error, which Ah, okay, because I have extra column. So you need to make it a constant. So what I could do is uh, I'll use ampersand and ampersand. Okay. Alright, then I'll try to drag it. Okay. So the first value is 0 0.611. I'll try to counter check with my previous number. Okay, correct. So this is a final view. How it should look like. Okay. Let's start out with the histogram, which uh, we'll use a pivot table. This is your data for your normal, and I'm going to set up a pivot table over here. Go to data, go to pivot table, menu pivot table. Location is include of the label. Do not start with the first number. Start out with the first label. That's why the labeling is important. Press on enter. And then when you have a new worksheet, no existing worksheet, so that you will appear here. Okay. Alright, so this is empty pivot table. Now the reason to why I uh, emphasize that you need to include the label because it, otherwise number will appear here. 22, let's say this number will appear here if you start with A2. So since I start with A1, so this number will appear here. So don't worry about it. So next thing I'm going to do is I uh, click, drag into row labels. Okay? Click and drag into it. Right? You may pause my video and then you try it on, a, on your computer. Then next thing you would do is uh, you want to arrange that because uh, the main intention is to get histogram. For histogram, you need to have a bin size or, or the class. So you go to either cell of it, either cell, you right click. Oh, sorry, you don't right click. Okay, you don't right click just now. Okay, all you do is uh, go back to data. Oh, sorry, is go to pure table. Google table, you group them, group view. Now how do you group them from the minimum number or the smallest number? Minimum is 22, maximum 54. So maybe I will start with 20 and it 55. Okay, depending how you want to do it. But the size, the class size should be maybe 5 only. So 20, 25, so and so forth. So this is my class. The class size is 5 and the range is 5. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is you want to calculate how many in this range, right? So, what I'm going to do is again go back to your pivot table builder, click on this number, drag into values. So, there are a total of 2 between 20 to 24, 1, 2. This is correct. For practice purpose, the size data size is about 40 50 about 40 okay so that you can counter check it easily it's a41 okay so when you click on this table you come back again so don't worry about it then maybe you want to know the percentage again click drag but this time round maybe you want it the second one is uh, go to the exclamation mark click on it uh, maybe I want it um, option I want it to be um, 
percentage of column okay percent of column somewhere else come back to this shit okay double click here this is a uh, percentage okay we will format it properly okay this is a uh, frequency double click on it F R E Q U E N C Y okay so how frequent it occur and you get a nice table so if you have this all three things with you, then you're quite free to go. Okay. So first of all, you start out with the normal graph, the normal data. This is normal graph. Let's plot this first, followed by the histogram. Okay. You don't do it the other way because it's very messy. Otherwise, that's the reason to why I made this video again because previously I started out with histogram and it turns out to be very messy and uh, well. I try to make it easier this time round. So what you do is uh, select your data for normal, go to chart, go to scatter, smooth line, pop comes out. This is your normal distribution. Quite easily done. Okay, maybe do some formatting, delete it off. So this is a line graph. Then you need to, to add your histogram. So select data. And select data. The data you're about to add in is also in line form. So you need to change it later. Okay. So first, you select your data, your x value. My x value will be my uh, here range, and then my y value would be my frequency value. Oh, okay. No. Here to here. Click, drag, release, press on enter. Okay. So these two, your data. Series 1 is the normal, series 2 is the uh, histogram. Press on OK. It appears weird here because you need to do some uh, formatting. The previously uh, is quite messy and quite of quite lots of error. So that's why it's not nice. Now, the red one, you click on it, it will appear that this is the data for this graph. But you want it to be in histogram. So what you do is you go to chart, click on chart. And then go to column, cluster column. This is your histogram. Okay, but this is not the right uh, format yet. I mean, you need to format it accordingly because if you look at your um, format, oh no, chart layout, and the axis, there's only one axis. I want it to have be to have double axis. Now to do that, you need to go to your uh, normal data. You try to double click on it and then you double click any point for your normal graph. Okay. You enable secondary axis. Okay. You enable secondary axis. Then you click OK. Then it's almost done. You go back again to your chart layout axis. There are two axes primary and secondary. Okay. You go to secondary horizontal. You enable it default axis. Viola, everything comes out. Okay, next job will be to hide the one on top and the one over the right hand side, and then close this gap. Then you get your histogram with normal distribution. You may stop this video, pause this video, and try on your uh, computer, or you may proceed because the following video, following few minutes, will be uh, the formatting. So what you do now is closing the gap because the gap is. Double click on the uh, double click on it. Double click on the histogram. Oh, it's not the histogram. We're doing double click on the histogram. Is it the histogram? No. Okay. right click on the histogram format data point the gap width you reduce it to zero then this is what you normally see okay 
then you hide this one the top you may do it here or double click on it maybe take maybe none none and that makes it none so this you have hide it again double click access label none 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 that's all it's all gone okay and then uh, maybe uh, why is it uh, towards one side okay maybe double click again um, you don't double click because you double click on the line it changes the color it changes the color of the line the color of the normal grind maybe you want to change it to other color say black okay that's why you have black marker style maybe no marker marker line Maybe my marker line will be black as well. Okay, so okay, this is your graph. But then yet, why is it in one size? I'm gonna do right click, right click, format data series. Just now you double click. Now you right click, and then um, it doesn't come out here. Strange. So it does come something you do is go to the axis. Um axis option. Start from zero to sixty. Oh this is okay. was a right click from axis or axis primary axis because primary axis is actually the uh, normal graph go to primary axis horizontal axis you change the uh, horizontal axis scale okay minimum maybe to zero maybe it's maybe 20 isn't it your data start from 20 or 20 or maybe 15 Okay, so that represents data. Maximum is sixty, so yeah, you get it right already. Then this is how you get a normal distribution over histogram by using Mac Office. That's all from my video. I hope you like this video this time round. Press on thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video. That's all from me. Thank you for watching my video.